Oh, Addie, a party? What for? Nothing for. I had the sweet butter, so I made the cake. Isn't this nice? A party just for us. <gasps> Is Mama? No, she ain't got back yet. Sit down, David. Well, not by you. me. I'm not speaking to him. He's too dull. He's always preaching. Oh, well, it doesn't seem to affect your appetite. It doesn't affect me in any way. I just ignore him. I don't let anybody be bad friends. It's so nice here with just us. There, David. That's for you. Thank you. Elder bear's good for the stomach. That's what Mama used to say. Mama used to give it to me when I was a little girl. For hiccups. <laughs> you know, I don't think people get hiccups anymore. Isn't that funny? <laughs> no, and nobody gets growing pains no more. Just like there was some style in what you got. One year ailment stylish, and the next year taint. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Buddy, that elder bear wine going to give you a headache spell. Oh, I don't think so. I remember now about the hiccups. It was my first big party. At Lionette, I mean, and there I was with hiccups and Mama laughing. Mama always laughed. A big party, a lovely dress from Mr. Worth in Paris, France, and hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was the first day I ever saw Oscar Hubbard. We saw him from our window. He passed and lifted his hat, and my brother, to tease Mama, said Mama didn't like the Hubbards and wouldn't invite them to the party because they kept a store. And then I saw Mama angry for the first time in my life. She said that wasn't the reason. She said she just didn't like people who made their money charging awful interest to poor, ignorant colored folks and cheating them on what they bought. Oh, she was very angry, Mama was. And then suddenly she laughed and said, look, I frightened Birdie out of her hiccups. And so she had. They were all gone. Yes, they got mighty well off cheating the pole. Well, there's people that eats up the whole earth and all the people on it, like in the Bible with the locusts. Then there's people that stand around and watch them do it. Sometimes I think it ain't right to just stand and watch him do it. There's something else in the Bible, Eddie. Take us the foxes. The little foxes that spoil the vines. For our vines have tender grapes. Oh, if we could only go back to Lionette. Everybody'd be better there. They'd be good and kind. I like people to be kind. Don't you, Horace? Don't you like people to be kind? Yes, Bertie, I do. Yes. Yes, that was the first day I ever saw Oscar. <laughs> Who would have thought? Bertie. Do you all want to know something? I don't like Leo. My very own son. And I don't like him. <laughs> Isn't that funny, David? <laughs> My, I guess I even like Oscar more than I like Leo. <laughs> Why did you marry Uncle Oscar? That's no question for you to be asking. Why not? It's time she was asking questions. She's heard enough around here to ask anything. Why did you, Aunt Bertie? Well, I don't know. I thought I liked him, and he was so kind to me then, and I thought it was because he liked me too. But that wasn't the reason. Ask where he married me. I can tell you that. He's told it to me often and not Miss Birdie, don't. My family was good. That was part of it. But the cotton on Lionette's fields was better. Ben Hubbard wanted the cotton, and Oscar Hubbard married it for him. He was kind to me then. He used to smile at me. He hasn't smiled at me since. Well, everybody knew that's what he married me for. Everybody but me. Stupid, stupid. You're talking like this, Miss Birdie, and you'll get a headache, sure. I've never had a headache in my life. And you know it as well as I do. I've never had a headache, Sam. That's a lie they tell for me. I drink. All by myself, in my own room, by myself. I drink. And when they want to hide it, they say, Birdie's got a headache, Kevin. Oh, Aunt Birdie, don't. Oh, no. You won't like me now. You won't like me anymore. You are always... Oh, me. don't. Don't love me. Because in 20 years, you'll just be like me. They'll do all the same things to you. And you'll trail after them, just like me. Hoping they won't be so mean to you that day or say something to make you feel so bad. Only you'll be worse off because you won't have my mom to remember. <laughs> oh, don't, don't. <laughs> Come on, now, look 
go home, just you and me. Come on. <laughs> oh, Miss Birdie. 